all right uh, let's start with the topic uh, this video we are going to discuss about uh, vanet vanet is a type of uh, mobile ad hoc network it is a type of manet that is specially designed for communication between vehicles it allows vehicles to communicate with each other and with the infrastructure using wireless technologies such as wi-fi okay uh, let us see the diagram you will basically understand with this diagram suppose there are two vehicles going on the road okay these two vehicles are able to communicate to each other v to v vehicle to vehicle okay uh, and vehicle to infrastructure or infrastructure to vehicle you can suppose okay and uh, here you can see rsu roadside units uh, and inside vehicle you have two units au obu obu is like onboard unit au is like application unit okay au is uh, application unit so every vehicle has onboard unit okay vehicle communication vehicle to vehicle communication happens uh, with this onboard units like vehicle to vehicle communication is nothing but the communication between the onboard units okay these onboard unit can even communicate with the roadside units and the communication between uh, au uh, application unit and onboard unit also take place so whatever i have said here all these things are written here vehicle to vehicle uh, whatever we have discussed till now like vehicle to vehicle communication vehicle to infrastructure communication same thing is written here okay you can just go through these points uh, the main characteristics of vanet include high mobility dynamic topology limited resources if you look at these uh, uh, vanet uh, network we are talking about the communication between uh, vehicles okay vehicles in a vanet are highly mobile okay that's obvious uh, dynamic topology the topology of vanet is constantly changing as vehicle enter and leave the network and the network expands and contacts okay uh, the topology will be dynamically changing limited resources okay vehicles in a vanet have limited resources such as power bandwidth processing power and many more okay uh, so these are the characteristics of vanet then uh, we will discuss advantages and disadvantages as well advantage is that improved safety vanet can improve road safety by enabling uh, vehicles to exchange information like their location or else their speed direction these uh, when uh, communication happens okay uh, there will be an improved safety okay next uh, enhanced traffic efficiency since uh, communication between vehicles is taking place uh, you can optimize the traffic flow okay vanets can be used to optimize uh, traffic flow by allowing vehicles to communicate with each other and with the infrastructure and to coordinate their movements okay this is done uh, improved environmental sustainability now you think how this is re uh, related to sustainability vanet allows us to check the routes as well vanet can be used to reduce fuel consumption and emissions by optimizing routes okay uh, these are the advantages now if you look at the disadvantages the disadvantage of vanet is that it is very complex because it includes navigation sensor a wireless technologies and everything so uh, vanet uh, system that require integration of multiple technologies it in, uh, it requires integration of all these technologies and that may be uh, difficult to design and deploy uh, these are the some of the applications of vanet you can just go through these applications uh, safety applications traffic management okay with vanet uh, you can improve safety traffic management can be performed efficiently environment applications we have seen commercial applications okay you can just go through this i will uh, drop the notes in the description please do check that you will understand it better uh, now we will compare manet and vanet okay uh, if you look at the cost wise manet is cheap vanet is expensive uh, mobility of manet is low whereas vanet includes vehicles okay vanet is communication between vehicles hence high mobility okay. mobility is low here mobility is high it is cheap this is expensive change in network topology like uh, manet we are talking about nodes nodes we say that nodes can move but uh, there is no criteria that nodes has to be definitely moved so 
compared to this uh, network topology orientation is slow here uh, topology will change frequently because we are talking about vehicles and vehicles has to move next sparse node density node density is frequently variable okay uh, node density changes manet have 100 kps bandwidth okay here bandwidth is 100 here it is 1000 range is 100 here the range is 500 meters 100 meters and 500 meters manet node lifetime depends upon the power resources whereas here it depends upon the vehicle lifetime they have medium re uh, reliability whereas here uh, reliability is very high next uh, so attribute based addressing scheme suppose you wanted to address a, a particular you wanted to send some information to a particular node so you identify using attributes whereas here location based addressing schemes regular moving pattern of nodes movement of nodes affects the operation here movement affects but here uh, it is a regular process manet as movement uh, manet as node movement manet needs to rely on robust routing protocol uh, have random node movement you can just assume that here the node movement will affect the operations whereas here node movement is common uh, position acquisition is obtained using ultrasonic whereas here using uh, gps and radar availability of multi hopping weekly availability of multi hopping uh, these are the few differences between the manet and manet try to remember few of them for your examination point of view